Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. We have number 5 today of the polynomial unit. We are going to divide polynomials by a monomial. And sometimes that monomial will be a constant, sometimes it will be linear or cubic, uh, it will have varying degrees, um, but we will show you what to do. Let's go to the very first one. All right, we have first 48 p cubed plus 36 p squared minus 60 p all divided by minus 12. And when we have some uh, a, a polynomial like this, this is a trinomial um, divided by a monomial, we are just going to take this monomial on the bottom and divide it individually to this one, to this one, and to this one. It is very similar to uh, the distributive property where we are multiplying, we're just going to apply this minus 12 to all of these. So we could have 48 p cubed divided by 12, minus 12 I should say, uh, 36 p squared divided by minus 12, and then minus 60 p divided by minus 12. 48 divided by minus 12, that's minus 4 p cubed, 36 divided by 12, that's minus 3p squared. Minus 60 divided by 12, that's 5p. And that would be our final answer. When you're dividing a polynomial by a monomial, you just take that monomial and you divide it by each of the terms, however many you have, to get your final answer. Let's go over one. We have 45x to the power of 5 plus 45 5 x to the power of 4 plus 36 x to the power of 3 all divided by minus 9 x to the power of 3. We're going to break this up into three different parts with three different division problems. So that's 45 x to the power of 5 divided by minus 9 x to the power of 3 plus 45 x to the power of 4 divided by minus 9 x to the power of 3 plus 36 x to the power of 3 divided by minus 9 x to the power of 3. We're going to go ahead and treat these like their own individual problems. So we have 45 divided by minus 9, that would be minus 5, minus 5. And then x to the power of 5, subtract x to the power of 3. Um, so we're, we're subtracting 5 and 3, that's x squared. Um, minus, again, 5x, because 4 minus 3 is just 1. And then a negative again, 36, so this one is 4. And then x cubed minus x cubed, 3 minus 3 is 0. So we just leave this as a constant. And this right here is our final answer. Okay. Let's go, we got these written a little bit differently, but it does just mean the same thing. So we have 10x cubed plus 50x squared plus 10x divided by 10x. We can rewrite this with this below each of our terms. So we have 10x cubed divided by 10x plus 50x squared divided by 10x, plus 10x divided by 10x. I can see where that one's going already. 10 divided by 10 is one, so I don't have to write it. And three minus one is two, so this is just x squared. 50 divided by 10 is five, and x squared minus x, that just leaves us with x, plus one. Anything divided by itself is just one. We got a couple more to do. 36r to the power of 3 plus 6r squared plus 36r all divided by 6r. We can rewrite it with this underneath each particular term. So that's 36r cubed divided by 6r plus 6r squared divided by 6r plus 36r divided by 6r. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 3 minus 1 
leaves us with 2r squared. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so I don't have to write it. And then r to the power of 2, subtract 1, that's just r. And 36 divided by 6 is 6, and we have no more r's because 1 minus 1 is 0. Two more to do. We have 30r to the power of 3 plus 2r squared plus 30r, all divided by 10r squared. And if, you know, you're having trouble during the video, stop me during class, stop your friend during class, and ask, what the heck is he talking about here? So uh, get the help when you need it. If this is hard, that's okay. We can work through it together. Okay, we've got 30 r cubed divided by 10 r squared plus 2 r squared divided by 10 r squared and 30 r divided by 10 r squared. We're going to treat each problem like it's its own. So 30 divided by 10 is 3. Uh, 3 minus 2 is 1. So that's just 3 r. 2 divided by 10. Well, I don't actually know what that is. I can't actually do that without putting it into a decimal, which we don't generally want to do. So we'll just turn that into a fraction. Uh, we can reduce that to 1 fifth. And r squared minus r squared, we just get rid of that completely because 2 minus 2 is 0. So we've got 1 fifth there. And then 30 divided by 10 is 3. And we will take my, a 1 and subtract 2. So that gets us r to the negative 1. So I'm going to r to the negative 1. But we can take that and we can put that on the bottom of the fraction. So this is actually 3 over r. You can kind of think of it as at the top you had 1r and in the bottom you had 2. So if you cancel those ones out, you're just left with a single r on the bottom. However you want to think of it, that's OK. But we're left with fractions. No big deal, we love fractions. Fractions are our best friend. Let's do one more, and I wanna change the color just because. We've got nine k cubed m squared n plus three k squared m n squared plus 54 k m cubed n, all divided by six k m n, oh my. That's okay, it looks more complicated than it is. Let's just write it separately and we'll work each part out individually. So we have 9k cubed m squared n divided by 6k mn, 3k squared mn squared divided by 6k mn. Just writing it individually. 54k m cubed n divided by 6k mn. I can only reduce, because 6 doesn't go into 9 evenly. So I'm going to reduce that to 3 halves. My k's, uh, 3 minus 1, that's 2, so k squared. 2 minus 1, that's just 1. And the n's cancel, 1 minus 1 is 0. Again, we can't do this evenly, but we can reduce. Uh, that would be 1 half. Uh, k squared minus k, so that's just k up top. m minus m, so that gets rid of it completely. And then 2 minus 1 is 1, so kn over 2. 54 divided by 6, this is our last one, that's 9. Let's see, k cancels out with k, 1 minus 1. m, 3 minus 1 is 2, and then the n's cancel out, 1 minus 1 is 0, and this is our final answer. Again, a polynomial with fractions. We love fractions. If you have questions about this, um, please let me know. I know it gets a little complicated with so many different variables, all to different powers, uh, but if we take it methodically and we break it up and we do piece by piece, uh, I think it's possible. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you soon.